Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. This is a problem that says, determine the magnitude of force at, at the pin A and in the cable BC needed to support the 500 pound load. Neglect the weight of the boom at AB. Okay, so let's get started. So looking at the free body diagram, we know that well, the object that we're looking at is um, the rod that goes from A to B. And you see that it's 8 feet. And you know that it has uh, the force of the weight, which is equal to 500 pounds. You know that we have the tension of the cable at B. We need to know the angle of the tension of this cable. And look, we have the angle right here of 22 degrees, which means that this angle is also 22 degrees. And then uh, we have the reactions at A, which is a vertical reaction and a horizontal reaction. Let's call it F of A of Y. And this is F of A of X. And that's our diagram. So now let's get started. So look at the variables that we're trying to find. We're trying to find f of a of x, f of a of y, and we're trying to find the tension t. Sorry, let's call this tension t. I forgot to label it. Now, you know that if you do the sum of the moments about a, you can get rid of two variables and solve for t, which is one of our variables. So this is pretty straightforward. So let's do it down here. Assuming that counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments at a is equal to zero and that is equal to okay so the moment created by the weight so it's w times the distance from a to here this is the lever arm that this force right here is trying to turn and it's trying to turn it clockwise so it's negative so it's the weight which is 500 pounds times that distance which is given by 8 which is the length of the rod times the cosine of 35 degrees now the tension the tension is the, the force right here the tension has two components a horizontal component let's call it d of x and a vertical component let's call this d of y and we know that uh, let me write it down right here. T of x is equal to T times the sine, I'm sorry, T times the cosine of 22. And T of y is equal to T times the sine of 22. Keep that in mind. Now, both of the components are creating a moment about A because none of them are, are probably or perpendicular to it. So, let's say let's say that the x component, uh, I mean, let's start with the, the first component, which is t times the x component, which is t times the cosine of 22. So this is the x component of the t force and it's trying to turn the lever arm from A to here, right? To, to It's a distance from, from A to B vertically. And that is given by 8 sine of 35 which is this angle right here and it's trying to turn it counterclockwise so it's positive and then the other one which is t sine of 22 which is the vertical uh, yeah the vertical component of t t of y is trying to turn the same lever arm that the weight is trying to turn which is given by 8 cosine of 35 and it's trying to turn it also clockwise so it's also negative so as you can see t is what we're trying to find there's only uh, uh and there's only one other variable which is w which we have it's 500 pounds so we plug them in here and we just solve for t so 0 is equal to minus 500 times 8 cosine of 35 and then if you multiply all this together and multiply all this together, you should get that this is equal to plus 4.25t 
and this is equal to minus 2.45 t. If you solve for t, um, you should get that t is equal to 1820.33 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. So that's t. Now that we have t, we can basically solve for the other two by doing the sum of the forces in the x and sum of the forces in the y. So let's do just that. Sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero. Now on the x, we have um, f of a of x, f of a of x, minus t cosine of 22, which is the x component of t, and that's it. Nothing else on the x. So f of a of x is equal to t cosine of 22. We plug in t, what we just found right here. We plug that in here. And we get that f of a of x is equal to 1687.8 pounds. And last but not least, sum of the forces on the y is equal to zero. And that is equal to um, the reaction of a uh, at y, I mean the reaction of the vertical reaction of f of a, uh, which is f of a of y minus t sine of 22 minus w, the weight. So you can plug in w, plug in t, and solve for f of f of a of y, and this is equal to t sine of 22 plus w. When you plug in the values, you should get that f of a of y is equal to 1181.91 pounds. Now that is the vertical component of f of a. If you had to find the magnitude of f of a and the angle of direction, very easy to do guys. f of a is equal to, f, I mean the magnitude of f of a is equal to the square, um, f of a y square plus f of a x square, all square rooted. And that is equal to 2060.47 pounds, f of a. And the angle is given by the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component. Uh, and if you plug them in, you should get that is equal to, oops, is equal to, what did I do? I'm oh, sorry guys, I don't know how I did this. It's equal to 35 degrees. So, this is the magnitude, this is the angle of direction, x component, y component, and final answer for the tension.